Hey everybody, so we are here at another job in the beautiful morning. I can see the sun starting to clear up in the over there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Anyways, we are uh, here at uh, this property is already semi cleared and they need to expand it. So we actually need to flip it around. If you can see where all that yellow tape is, that's where we got to clear. So all the way around, around this pile here, go up to there. Then in front, we want the majority of the trees out front cleared too, because they got to run hydro in here. Now, <laughs> my only concern is some of these trees are huge, um, huge poplars. Not that I'm worried about the trees itself, but. Uh, some of them, I'll show you over here, they're actually leaning over the road. And uh, I'm thinking of calling a friend in to give me a hand, just to make sure he's got some experience uh, pulling trees that are like that. It's always good to have a, a second set of eyes as well. So we got right here, you can see, we have power lines that are going over. You see the telephone pole over there. And if you look here, you can actually see the trees that are leaning over. And uh, my concern is one wrong move. <laughs> and we take out the power lines and uh, that's trouble. So anyways, we'll save the front for a little bit later. Uh, maybe I'll come up with a plan. I've been here for about 15 minutes just trying to come up with a good plan to uh, to knock this out as quick and as safe as possible. They had a trailer that was here, they moved that, but there's still a whole bunch of 
different things that they have left lying around. So I want to make sure that uh, nothing gets smashed or broken either. Some of these trees you can see, um, excluding this one, but some of these trees, I mean, they are tall and uh, depending on where they fall, these ones here, they look like I can direct them. I'm pretty sure that we can get them this way. But if they go south and they have a need here, they're going to hit some of their stuff. So first thing I'm going to do is just go through, make sure there's no um, anything that is worth something um, in the way. This stuff I'll leave here. But anything else, um, I'll move to the side just so that way uh, nothing gets broken. My other concern is uh, we've had so much rain over the last couple days the water level is extremely high and when i came and looked at this job um it was uh, i guess about a month and a half ago and then about two weeks ago i came here and everything was dry and now everything is really 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 soft and uh, you can see how much water is here too and it's, it's a little a little soft so I don't want to tear everything up. They got a septic there and uh, a nice lawn as well. So anyways, we'll uh, get set up, get the excavator warming up and uh, let's see what we can get done today. So because there's so many big trees we gotta knock down, right now what I'm trying to do is just get all the small stuff out, everything that we can. Um, this stuff is supposed to be chipped as well, and the majority of it, I'm gonna talk to you on that actually, because they're trying to burn this pile as well. And I know all the spruce I'm pulling down would be uh, good for the fire. So I'm gonna talk with them and see. Um, otherwise there's a ton of chipping. Also, uh, any type of cedar or red pine, like over here, um, we're supposed to keep. So I'm trying to thin everything out right now just to try and get an idea. 
clean everything out around the big ones and uh, that way we have room uh, to cut and to get out of the way in case anything goes wrong.
All right, so my big saw is uh, first time I've used it this year, and the uh, the chain is dull or duller than it's normally is not as sharp. And of course, if you watched videos from last year, last season, um, my work truck was the dump truck, and my files are all sitting in the door of my dump truck. So nothing is in my new truck, and uh, so we're gonna have to make do. We I used the uh, the smaller chain some chainsaw for this one, and it uh, it cut. It did all right, but it just didn't do it properly. So we're gonna see if we can get by. I want to get this side cut down today and maybe end over there right by the pile and if i can get that done i'll be happy so hopefully we can do it with uh with the big saw and if not we'll uh we'll have to limp with the small saw so here we go Okay, well, I got everything that I wanted to get cut on this side done. Um, now it's clean up. They gotta be bucked up into 12 foot pieces and uh, customer's gonna use them for something. But I gotta go and uh, price out a job right now. So I should probably come back, hopefully, and uh, see if we can clean some of this up because I don't like leaving jobs like this. So anyways, we got everything cut out stumps will be cut closer to the ground after um these got to be done into 12 foot segment sections segments <laughs> anyways i gotta go quote on the job and i'll be back all right good morning we're back here uh on the project again it is a beautiful sunny morning and uh it's really quiet all of a sudden but uh it's beautiful and uh this property really doesn't have much around it so when I pulled up here all there was was um, birds chirping like crazy flying all over the place there was uh, I forget the name of the woodpecker but it's a huge woodpecker um, that was flying around hitting all the trees you can still hear him in the background but he's 
figured that I'm here. I tried to get him with the, with the, uh, the drone so he can get some footage, but uh, I think I scared him off, so he's off in the distance somewhere. Anyways, we are back here at the, uh, the project, and uh, we I finished off last night. I didn't bother to uh, record anymore, but I bucked a few of it up um, into 12 foot pieces. So we're gonna finish doing that, tidy this up. This big guy here, has to come down so that's the first thing actually that I'm going to do is get that down so that way we can start stacking the 12 foot pieces here for the customer um, once we get this cleaned up then we got to go all behind this pile of debris here keep going across if you can see the yellow that's basically what we got to clear out today if we get that done I'm going to be really really happy to get that cleaned up this pile of debris I got to readjust it for them and then throw all the pine and spruce on top of the pile. That'll give them a good burning material to get it going. Um, if I can, I want to try and get over to here on this side of the property. There is a few more trees. And then this here is the one that's the biggest challenge because these um, poplar, not only are they huge, but... Uh, they are hanging over the road, and uh, I already talked to him about, uh, there's one guy that they have here. This guy here, I don't know if, uh, if I can get, yeah, this guy here. He's got it marked off to come out, but um, it is literally hanging over the road. And it's about, I would say less than 15 feet from the power lines that go across there. You can see the... Uh, the telephone pole over there so my concern is if I mess with that that could possibly fall the wrong way and take up the power lines and then we're in trouble <laughs> so um, I'm not interested in any type of trouble if it falls naturally and takes out the power lines well power company will come and fix it but if I do it I'm in big trouble so we have to be careful too his septic system is here so we're gonna have to work around that all of these have to come out all along there. There's a few more along the side of the driveway here we gotta pull out too. But that is for tomorrow. So in the meantime, we're going to uh, we're gonna get this stuff done. So the main goal today is to get this cleaned up, stacked up, get that big tree down. Uh, we gotta buck down those stumps a little more. Um, he wants me to take a layer of the topsoil off and pile it up for him. So we'll do that quickly for him. Um, all the branches from these trees are going to be piled over somewhere. I haven't figured out where yet. And we're going to bring the chipper and chip those up for him. He wants some chips. So we'll chip that up for him. And then we got to try and get these knocked out today too. So we got a full day. It's uh, going to be jam-packed. I haven't even looked at the weather. Um, so hopefully we still, uh, today's supposed to be in gorgeous. I know that. But hopefully tomorrow we get the same weather and we can knock this out pretty quick so let's get started here we go all right so i wanted to actually push the tree this way and keep it within everything else but as you can see i don't know if you guys can see that this is level actually leaning this way and put it up here a bit it's leaning towards me as well so Rather than try and fight it, I'm gonna go with it. It's a tall tree. Like it's way, way up there. And uh, I'm thinking it's safer to drop it on this side. I gotta be careful not to damage this tree here. And I don't wanna damage the septic system. So I have to try and get it in between there. So, wish me luck. Here we go.
Okay, well, that one came down pretty good. Um, or slightly off, just a tiny bit, but nothing big. Maybe tip touched the septic, but um, that's nothing. The, de the main part of the uh, the weight hit here, so not a big deal. So time to buck it up, clean it up, and uh, time to start getting these over here. So, <laughs> I've been motoring along here, um, had some distractions today, so uh, I didn't pay attention to see if this was recording much or not. So, anyways, we have pretty much all the trees that were here that we knocked down, we got them pretty, they're bucked up, uh, 12 foot, foot pieces, and uh, we got a little bit more over there. I'm trying to let this dry out a bit. Um, they got really, really boggy, and there's no drainage. I'm hoping there's a huge boulder that's under here, plus the root, so there's nothing that I can do. But I tried to cut a bit of a, a ditch here to see if we can control some of it. There's no drainage in the back there. I went and checked. It seems to all want to flow this way. So I'm hoping that this is, because uh, over there they have a ditch, and uh, that ditch, actually has uh, water coming out from the ground like a spring or something like that but it is dirty so i'm thinking that it's coming from me doing all the stuff over there so i'm hoping that by doing that ditch it's going to come out underneath you can see the water is flowing and coming out and it's dirty and brown so hopefully that uh, that will work Anyways, so now we're over on this side here, and uh, we're getting ready. I probably uh, spent about, I guess about 45 minutes cleaning up around the, uh, the fire pile that we had. Uh, whoever cleared the lot last time didn't pick the dirt off the roots, so the, guy, the customer had a hard time burning the stuff. So. We cleared some of it. I'm able to get behind here to a degree. That little bit over there, I will clean as I get back there. Right now what I want to do is all the spruce and everything, all the small trees, I can get them out. I'm going to get them out now. Then we're going to have to knock down all of these poplar that are here. And uh, hoping to get uh, everything done tonight. My son is also sick, so I'm waiting for a call just to make sure that everything's okay with him. So, anyways, we're gonna keep uh, motoring away. We'll put you here, and uh, you guys got some shade. <laughs> it's actually pretty warm today. But anyways, we'll start clearing this stuff out. Here we go. Alright, 
so we want to clean what we can out anything that i can possibly get out with the excavator i'm trying to get out first that way it gives me more maneuverability to get behind these trees to direct them properly because there's a lot of obstacles on this property believe it or not and i have to be very careful not to hit anything there's a well over there we got the septic over there we have their personal stuff piled up in the center of the property so we really need to make sure that everything is falling directional so anyway so that's the reason why we're really trying to get out what we can i was fighting with this guy a couple of times here but i'm going to hit him from the other way and he'll go down no problem he's just getting hung up in this poplar and uh, these things are fun to play with so anyways we're going to keep going Well, <laughs> that was the most awkward and spastic looking thing I've ever done. Um, trying to work with the stuff. I just wanted to get anything thin out of the way. So that way, with these things being so tall, I need places to make sure if we have to run, we got to run. So everything had to be clear. So we're going to start. We're going to start knocking some of these down. And as we get here, then I can kind of pick up the rest of them. It'll give me more room to, to uh, be a little more agile. Man, that was crazy. And then that pile of debris. Nothing's worse than trying to clean up somebody else's mess they made. And uh, that uh, all that stuff was all intertwined and roots were just all over the place. There was a lot of dirt, so of course it's compacted now. But we got enough out that I can get behind there and, uh, and knock the trees down. Once the trees are all down, we get them bucked up and then like that. Then we can start working on cleanup here. And then I can start working on cleaning up that pile. And then all that's left is on that side there. We got a couple on the other side. So we got a, I guess about an hour left for tonight. And, uh, but uh, I'm gonna see how many we can knock out tonight. So here we go.
All right, well, we're gonna call it wrap, a wrap for tonight. Um, we got quite a bit done. I knocked a few trees down. Um, I know we recorded some, but uh, we got quite a few trees that are down. We still have uh, a cluster there that has to come down. Then there's one right there, two, three, there's a rotten piece as it come out. Four, five, six, seven, bunch of little stuff there. Eight, nine, there's about another 10 in the back here that we still have to do. Then we got, there's an old, there's a tamarack there. Um, and we're pretty good there. And uh, we got some stuff around his wood pile that we gotta take out. Of course the friend stuff and then some stuff along the uh, the driveway as well so I mean we got a, a few more days here for sure but uh, on Saturday when uh, Michaela is not at school we'll bring the chipper and she'll run the chipper and get uh, get the branches all chipped up and uh, piles looking good <laughs> the owner came by he can't believe how much wood there is and there's still stuff back there we got to cut up and stuff but uh, he's gonna have lots of wood anyways that's it for tonight I'm gonna head home and we can get an early start tomorrow so uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs>